Yeah, actually, let me uh, render out my private UI so the chat can see. Send to some messages. So Frox just sent me a voice message, and this is what it will appear out as once you get a voice message. So I'll click on this. I said it to show the voice messages. Oh. <laughs> and that's what it says. Hello, I'm coming back. I'm sending another one right now. I said it to show the voice messages. One earlier as well. Send me another message. So right now I'll show up, I'll show show it up. So right there, Frox has sent me a message. I'm, I'm sending another one right now. <laughs> yeah. So there's that one. And then I'll even send Frox my own message. So what I'll do to uh, send a message is I'll just hold down the record button and say, "Happy birthday, the Fluxy. And there we go. Oh, wait, I don't, I don't, I don't know it. Happy birthday, the Fluxy. <laughs> and now that message is sent out to him. So having a uh, voice messages uh, here now inside of Neos is going to be a great way to easily be able to talk to other users without having to, uh, you know, type and, you know, we can even be lazier in VR. It's great. And more says, oh my god, voice so. messages. Yes, I know. Isn't it great? Voice messages are so good, as bad you say, because, you know, typing doesn't feel natural in VR, so... Yep, and I think mm -hmm. we're, we'll actually have a lot of stuff be voice reactive or speech to text type stuff. Imagine you have your inventory in front of you and you just wanted to say, uh, find me my uh, cat pictures, and then boom, it just lays out all of your cat pictures just by, just by vo being voice activated, so... Um, the recording is client-sided, right? Is the recording client-side? The recording is close. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it just yeah. records like a pure recording microphone. It actually yeah. encodes it also as a board base, so like it's like higher quality than like the real time was as well. But so there you go. Good question. It's still like pretty tiny. 